first comic coming to the stage. Uh, he has performed in clubs all over the place, uh, notably in New York City, and now he runs the Woolen Mills Comedy Club down in Bridgewater, down near Killington. It's an awesome room. They have a live band. It's really fucking cool. You guys should check out a show there sometime. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Colin Doyle. Keep it going for Richard Bowen, everybody. Great to be here, Burlington, Vermont, Queen City, or as I like to call it, the city of natural pheromones. I'm waiting for the next rebellious act in Burlington to be wearing deodorant. <laughs> or at the very least, natural deodorant crystals. <laughs> you still exist. Hometown of Bernie Sanders. Everybody, everybody feeling the burn? Bernie Sanders is a real advocate for Social Security, and I think I know why. At 76 years old, with a net worth of $480,000, I need that shit. <laughs> Don't got my Social Security. Donald Trump saying all kinds of stupid shit. It's like, I don't understand why, after all this time, China still has the greatest wall. <laughs> It's pathetic. <laughs> we'll build the greatest wall the world's ever seen called the Great Wall of America. <laughs> right over the tunnels the cartel have dug. <laughs> I'm waiting for these two guys to debate. Can you imagine what that would be? Because you know, uh, Donald Trump's going to go on a motion where Bernie Sanders is going to go on 35 years of publicly elected experience. Saw that stuff on pay-per-view. Tonight on DirecTV, Senator Bernie Sanders debates billionaire businessman Donald Trump on China. <laughs> Donald Trump's like, I'd like to thank the panel, I'd like to thank all the other speakers, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I don't really give a shit, okay? I want to get to the point here, and that's China, all right? So what do we know about them? We know that they have oodles and oodles of money. <laughs> We know that they are sketchy, <laughs> and we now know that they are devaluing the yen, which is, of course, bad for America. Bernie Sanders is like, Donald, 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 let me stop you right there, okay? <laughs> let me stop you. I have been to the People's Republic of China. I have met their president, Xi Jinping, okay? Let me tell you what we know about him. He's calm, he's collected, and I'm like, you, quite reasonable. Now, I have to agree with you, then disagree with you. They are devaluing the currency from 11% to 8 or 9%, give or take. But it is known as the yuan, or as they say in China, the run the key. The yen is, of course, Japan's currency, you ignorant son of a bitch. You see what just happened? You just got burned by the burning. <laughs> A lot of polling going on, a lot of polling numbers. You see percentages and numbers and stuff. I'm into politics, and I'm going to call the election the way I see it. I'm going to show a little sketch for you guys right now. So here we go. Got the Democrats, Hillary, Bernie on one side. The Republicans, Trump, Cruz on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to announce the 45th President of the United States of America and the winner of the 2016 presidential election. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jeb Bush. Huh? What? What? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, we did it. Uh, we did it, everybody. Uh, a lot of you out there seem shocked. And it's probably because of my incredibly low polling numbers, which was a mere 3%. But when uh, one could expect a person with the last name of Rockefeller to live a life of luxury and wealth, uh, one would expect uh, a candidate with the last name of Bush to literally rig and steal the election. Um, 
Here we go. Let me tell you how horrible the next eight years of your life are going to be. <laughs> All right. Well, after Jeff Bush, everybody. <laughs> but, you know, you got to figure. You know, I'm thinking about calling spades spades. We elected his brother on the basis of, I just want a president I can have a beer with, man. I'm sorry, is that too much to ask for? President I can have a beer with? <laughs> I imagine if you had a, a beer with the former President Bush, it probably wouldn't be as amusing as you'd think, you know? Now, Fox Spring, play up! Fox Spring, night night! Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, I think I just farted. <laughs> Obama, he's not that type of president, is he? The type of guy who'd like sneak around the White House, smoke a joint by himself. People are like, Barack, has, has anybody seen President Obama? He comes back and goes, Ah, <coughs> uh, wow. That was some really strong reaper. All right, everybody, back to work. Got a brilliant new idea. <laughs> President Obama recently underwent some scrutiny because of him going to uh, emotional shambles. Did you guys see this? No. When he was giving the speech, he started crying and everything. Oh my God, yeah, he went to pieces. For, for those of you guys who didn't see it, I'd like to you know, demonstrate how it went. <clears throat> uh, for everybody who lost a loved one uh, because of a senseless, a murder of a, of a gun. Uh, for all those people that they didn't think would ever lose someone because of a bullet. Uh, it's uh, just her. I'm like sitting at home like, what a fucking pussy this guy. Huh? I gotta pull it together, Obama. Squealing like a little baby up there. Obama's got really good comedic timing. Have you noticed that? Yeah. He's like, he's great. Like, <laughs> the Bush said like funny things, but, but Obama can say things funny, you know? He'll come on stage, he's just out of nowhere. He'll be like, uh, did you hear about the scarecrow that uh, won an award? Uh, apparently he was outstanding in a field. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are great. I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that. Uh, I'm starting to think I uh, have, uh, have smoked too much marijuana. Uh, it, it, man, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Just the other day, I was stoned, uh, and I uh, got the munchies. I, I decided to walk out to the kitchen, took out a packet out of the cell thing, put it in the microwave, dipped a potato, and walked away. Stop. Eighteen and a half minutes later, <laughs> I smell something. I'm like, what did she go do? Let's go make some popcorn. <laughs> I walk out of the kitchen. There's like flames spewing out of the microwave. I'm like, holy shit, someone decided to do it before me. <laughs> it looks like the reckless bastard hit potato and walked away. <laughs> Put it together. Anybody who says marijuana is a non-addictive drug, that's a person who's never smoked resin before. <laughs> it's like the tax rebate of marijuana. You know? like, I spent a lot of money on pot, and I'd be damned if I can't get high right now. Even if it's just smoking tar out of a bowl. Any uh, HBO fans in the house? HBO Go fans? Yeah, give it up for not having a life. Woo! Netflix all day. Woo! Yeah. yeah. HBO uh, Go, uh, HBO Now, HBO on TV. I mean, it's great content, right? It's great content. Uh, but they have on HBO Go, HBO Late Night. Like, is anybody watching this at all? It's like, you know, HBO. Award-winning content in softcore porn from the 90s. <laughs> like, it's like there's like an intern that's like working at HBO and he's trying to explain it to like the CEO. He's like, like, uh, hi, uh, my name's uh, John. I, I'm an uh, intern down there at, uh, at content uh, management. And he's like, oh, go ahead, speak my boy, what's happening? Like, uh, I want to talk to you about uh, HBO uh, uh, Late Night, uh, uh, apparently no one's watching that. Like, 
you got to be kidding me. That was always one of our greatest sources of revenue. Like, yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, what the hell's going on? Apparently, people have discovered this thing called internet porn. And <laughs> I don't know, but they seem to be watching that, you know? And you seem nervous, and you smell. Are you wearing deodorant? Like, I'm wearing natural deodorant crystals, actually. <laughs> Right they don't seem to be working. Thank you guys so much. My name is Colin Doyle. Give it up for Richie Brown. Have a great night. Thank you guys. One more time for Colin Doyle. And Jeb Bush and Barack Obama. And the kitchen sink.